after due consideration of all the facts. The majority of this board, the members Thomas A. Morgan and Gordon Gray, jointly diverging from the conclusions reached by the member Ward B. Evans, proposed to submit to the Atomic Energy Commission their final decision in the matter of J. Robert Oppenheimer as follows. Although we consider Dr. Oppenheimer's numerous communist associations from his past a great indictment, and although Dr. Oppenheimer has made the regrettable decision to continue some of those associations up to the present day, we find no indication of disloyalty as far as his present associations are concerned. Dr. Oppenheimer's attitude in the Elton Chevalier incident appears to us a weightier matter. There, in a serious case of suspected espionage, he deliberately lied to security authorities in order to protect a friend whose communist background was well known to him. And thus, he placed himself outside the rules which govern the conduct of others. It is not important whether this was, in fact, a case of attempted espionage. What is important is that he believed in the possibility of it being such. He continued falsifications and false statements point to disquieting defects of character. Loyalty to our friends is one of the noblest qualities. But if a man puts his loyalty to his friends above what may reasonably be considered his duty to his country and its security system, this is beyond a doubt incompatible with the interest of his country. As to Dr. Oppenheimer's attitude in the matter of the hydrogen bomb, we find it ambiguous and disquieting. If Dr. Oppenheimer had given the program his enthusiastic support, then organized endeavor would have begun sooner, and we would have had the hydrogen bomb at a considerably earlier date. Now, this would have increased the security of the United States. We believe that Dr. Oppenheimer's negative attitude in the matter of the hydrogen bomb stemmed from his strong moral scruples, and that his negative attitude had an adverse effect on the other scientists. Although we have no doubt that he gave his advice with loyal intent and to the best of his ability, we note a deplorable lack of faith in the United States government. A lack of faith that was exemplified by his endeavor to prevent the development of the hydrogen bomb by means of international agreements, and is further exemplified by his demand for a guarantee that we shall not be the first to use that weapon. We find his conduct gives rise to considerable doubt as to whether his future participation in a national defense program would be unequivocally compatible with the requirements of the country's security should he persist in such conduct. Summing up our doubts, and with reference to evidence of his basic defects of character, we conclude that Dr. Oppenheimer may no longer claim the unreserved confidence of the government and of the Atomic Energy Commission a confidence which would have found expression in the granting of his security clearance. Gordon Gray, Thomas A. Morgan. I now call on Dr. Evans to read his minority report.